Ladies and gents, NDTV here with some more Pokemon Emerald. Last episode, we started our trek through uh, Route 111, and we beat the Winstrate family. We also got interviewed, but that's not really important. This episode, we're going to continue on and make progress, I guess. By fighting you. Yeah, I'm go- I don't know where I'm going, really. I mean, I, I know where I'm going, but I'm not going to spoil it. Because where would the fun in that be? Ooh, Shroomish, hello. You have effect spore, so... Playing a risky game here by using fake out, but whatever. And nope, did not get affected by effect spore. Nice. But this thing is probably gonna use like stun spore or something just to annoy me. Oh, you did not do that. Cool. I appreciate that little shroomish. I appreciate it so much, I'm gonna knock you out with swift. Like that. I think in the, the Generation 1 games, if you use moves like Fly and Dig, Swift will still hit through that. Fun fact. It doesn't now, but that's a thing. Um, yeah, let's keep Hadzi in because this is a Grass type. And absorb you. Because you're sure to give me a lot of health. Yep, brought back up to full. Tail whip all you want, but it's not like it's gonna matter. Because I've knocked you out. And nice! I'm dis disgustingly good. Okay, then. Ooh, Mount Chimney, but the view around here is very nice, too. Okay. You know what? Let's switch you and bring Ionia up here in the lead. Uh, oh, hello. I'm full of pep. Good for you. I am full of cookies. I just ate like an entire thing of cookies. Because cookies are good. Well, let's just get rid of all of that pep, I guess by knocking out your little sand shrew. I don't know, sand shrew just... Something about it is just... humorous to me. I don't know what, but... I don't know. When I see a trainer with a lot of pep, I can't help looking. Okay then. Route 112 is to the left, but if we try to go up north here... There's a sandstorm, and it's impossible to keep going, because sand is in our eyes or something. There's a little thing up there, but uh, let's ignore that for now, because we can't go through the desert. Instead, we'll go over here to Route 112, and there is a new Pokemon for us to find here, which is also the next team member, so let's find it. And there is the new Pokemon. It is Numel. Which is also my next team member. Numel is a fire ground type. It's pretty slow. And it has that four times weakness to water. But I, I like Numel a lot. So you know what? I, I'm going to catch it. And I'm afraid Confusion might knock it out. I mean, Numel, it's a bit on the bulky side, I guess. And it can deal decent damage. But uh, why? Why? Ah, whatever. Fake out. That hopefully does. Okay, good. Uh, you know what? Let's just throw this. Let's just, let's just throw the Pokeball. Hopefully, the bird won't be too much of a problem. Okay, yeah. Nice. Yep, Numel is our next team member, so let's give it a little nickname. It stores magma in its hump and it does things. Oh, can transport 220 pound load. That is more than I weigh. Okay, and the name I'm going to be giving Numel is... Uh, Vesu... Vesuvius, because that's the name of a volcano, and I like volcanoes. I'm pretty sure I spelt that right. If not, well, I can always go back to the name raider. 
And you have an item. It's a Rossberry. Okay. Sassy. Okay. Not like the speed actually matters, so... Yeah. And... I do have the experience share, so... Let's make use of that. And while we're at it... Gotta hear that burn... Do I have any burn heals? <laughs> you better have burn heal. I have... I have a Rossberry. Yeah, let's use that. Yeah, that's the Rossberry that Vesuvius had. Cool. Anyways, let's continue on. I'm strong, I won't cry if I lose. Um... Are you sure about that, little boy? Are you sure? This is, oh, you... Using Pokemon that I can't hurt with confusion. Fine, I see how it is. I'll just hurt you with fighting. Let me guess, fake out? Nature power. Okay, I see. Arm thrust then. Yep, Nuzleaf is part dark, so... Sucks to be Nuz... Oh, piss. I forgot to use fake out, didn't I? Well, not, not like it matters, because... I could just use arm thrust again. And goodbye, Nuzleaf. And hello, experience for mostly Vesuvius. Because Vesuvius is not battle ready yet. No number? Aw, you miss your mommy. Nothing wrong with that. And when you're out on picnic, why? You simply have to sing. I mean, you can sing any time. Not necessarily a picnic. Singing is fun, even if I'm not that good of a singer. Admittedly, but whatever. It's all about having fun. Same with video games. It's all about having fun. At least that's what I believe. Oh, wing attack. That might hurt. That did not hurt. Okay, I'm overestimating these little creatures. Let's see, Lombre. Ah, uh, yeah, mirror match is not worth it, so. Yeah. Confusion. Ah. Uh, stop hurting me and let me hurt you more. Nature power is going to be swift. Yes, we get it. It does things, but you're going to be knocked out, so... Ha! And Vesuvius grew to level 15. Any... Nope, no new moves. Let's see, it doesn't matter if you're good or bad at singing your Pokemon. Yeah, see? If you have the most fun, you win. And... For Lava Ridge or the Summit, please take the cable car. Now, Lava Ridge is right above these ledges. And, um... Yeah, that's where the next gym is. But... Let's show this off here. I get... No. Yeah, this is where the cable car is. But it's blocked off by these guys in red. Hey, man, is our leader really going to awaken that thing? Sounds like it. Yeah, but I heard we need a meteorite to do it. Oh, I get it now. That's why the rest of the crew went out to Full Arbor. Got it, and until they come back, we're not to let anyone pass, right? Huh. Guess there's something going down in Fall Arbor, which is a bit north. So, that's gonna be our next destination. And let's fight you. Yeah, he's doing the ha 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 laugh. I think I know what train is. Yeah, ouch, I bit my tongue. Yeah, I think I know which trainer this is. Because there's a trainer like this in what seems like every Pokemon game. Oh, hello, Numel. Please don't burn me. Ooh, I forgot to heal up Ionia. But Ionia should take care of this thing. Don't knock me out! Yeah, I'm definitely gonna heal after this, because healing is good. Machop. Ooh, wait, no, no. Yeah, I can do this. I can knock out Machop with a confusion. Just like this. Perfect. 
perfect. And level 24, nice. Yeah, oh wait, is this... Yep, the guy that sneezes. There's a guy like this in like pretty much every Pokemon game. And potion, okay. And boom. Let's read the sign, Mount Chimney Cape Car. Yeah, can't really do anything about that right now though. So basically we're taking this really big detour to get to Falarbor Town. Or uh, Lava Ridge Town. Because... The game told us to, pretty much. Okay, Bo can take these little rocks out. Still weird how Judy can just float up like that when its evolutions can't. Oh, come on, arm thrust, do more. Defense curl, that's not gonna help you whatsoever. Because that is a thing. Another Judude. Arm thrust. Please knock it out in three hits. Yes, got the three hits down. Yay. Let me guess, another Judude. Yep, another Judude. Points for originality. Except not really, because of sarcasm. Okay, one. Make this three hits, please. Nice. My wish was granted. And boom, level 16. Still no new moves. Whatever. And yeah. We got this dude's number. Try hacking and... Yeah, I'll go hiking later. Maybe. Probably not. It's like October right now at the time of recording this. But anyways, here we are in the fiery path. This is a little detour instead of going through the desert. And there are some new Pokemon here for us to find. First off, there's not Numel. I'm sorry, Numel. You're not new. So I'm just gonna run. First off, there is Machop. Machop! It's it's pretty bulky, it can take physical hits pretty well, but it's really slow. But it can do a lot of damage, and the one thing is you need to trade to get it fully evolved, but it's a solid team member that I can recommend using. Next up is Grimer. Let's see if I can find one. Grimer, it's a bit fi it's a bit on the special defensive side, so it can take special defense hits pretty well, but it's weak to a lot of like the common types that or some really common types like Ground and Poison. So not really a thing that I recommend using. But the other Pokemon that we can, or another Pokemon that we can find here that's kind of like Grimer is Coughing. Coughing is on the physically defensive side and it's actually a fantastic team member because it's immune to ground types because of Levitate and it can take hits pretty well. I actually recommend Coughing quite a bit because it's really nice. Next up is Slugma. Slugma... Let's see, is this one? No. Okay. Well, this is Torkoal, which is another new Pokemon, but let's talk about Slugma. Slugma is something I absolutely do not recommend, because Slugma is slow, and when it evolves, it evolves into Macargo, which is Rock Fire, which means it has a four times weakness to both ground and water, which, yeah, it's not that good. And now, the last Pokemon is this thing here, Torkoal. Torkoal? It's slow, but it's a pretty nice Pokemon for this point in the game. It's... Oh, yeah, Smog, we can do that. Yeah, it's Torkoal, it's slow, but it is pretty bulky, and at this point in the game, its damage output isn't that bad, so... It's a pretty solid team member, but later on, Torkoal, it's gonna be overshadowed by a lot of things. Fun fact, actually, I was planning on using Torkoal for this Let's Play, but I decided against it because I like Numel a bit more. And knock you out. Well, that's that's it for all the new Pokemon in this uh, in this path. 
Now, I will be coming back here once we have access to strength. We need the badge from the Lava Ridge Gym. We have the HM for it, but for now, we can't really use the thing. Do I have an antidote here? Yes, I have two. Cool. And you know what? Might as well heal up. And potions are starting to become obsolete, so... Gonna use those up. And... Uh, one more. Well, that's it, so... Might as well leave this place, because there's nothing left for us to do here. But there are things here. Two Rostberries... Which heals burns. Heh, <laughs> Rostberries. If you rearrange the letters, it spells out strawberries. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but all the berry names in this game, and in future games, they're like, they're based off like actual fruit names and such, which I actually enjoy quite a bit, as fruit. And let's get that up. And, you know what, I'll fight these two before I end it off, let's see here. Um... I might regret this, but let's put Vesuvius out front. Let's do this. Caught hot Pokemon Fire Path, and... Is this an Aroma Lady? Because this is the only reason I put Vesuvius out in front, because... Yeah. Okay, nice. Numel and Shroomish. At least I have a Fire-type move to deal with Shroomish now. Okay, Fake Out on you. Ember on the mushroom. Oh man, that did not do as much as I thought it would. Eh, this might be a problem then. You know what, let's uh... Target the shroom then. Well, at least Vesuvius is going to be getting a lot of experience from this. And let me guess, you're gonna send out like a Roselia or something just to ruin my day. Cause the Roselia might be a bit much Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah, that's also a thing. Um Okay, let's get rid of that. And Poison Sting. Let me guess, poisoned, right? Oh. Wow. Usually, like, I don't know if it's the case with everyone, but whenever I get hit with Poison Sting, it always feels like it poisons me. But then again, Poison Sting does have a high chance at poisoning something, if I remember correctly. But still. Slugma, you suck. I'm... Yeah, I just... I'm not a fan of Slugma. Design-wise, it's alright, I guess. It's just... Still? They could've done better. And the fact that its evolution is terrible does not help at all. Okay, Rosalia, you're starting to scare me here with your growth. No poison point? Okay. Then either poison point didn't activate or this thing has... Um, what was it? Why? Um, or a natural cure for its ability. Okay. Let's, uh, play this a bit more strategically, I guess. Let's see. You know what? I could just buy more super potions, so... Uh, boom. And now Vesuvius, you can just use Ember on that. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's definitely gonna hurt. Yeah, that hurt. Yawn, that is annoying. Okay, then let's. Wow, this battle is actually pretty challenging right now. But then again, I'm using pretty much a new Pokemon here. So. Hmm, hmm, that might hurt too. Okay, 
my only hope right now is for uh, Ember to knock out that Rosalia. I mean, I could do the sensible thing and switch, but no, I don't want to. Oh, cool, Bo caught up. And Vesuvius leveled up, nice. Okay, that level up might have given me the strength to knock. No, it did not. Ah, oh, that's so disappointing. Okay. Okay, then. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for the fake out here. And that hopefully will be enough to knock out the little Roselia. Okay, arm thrust and fake out. Nice. Perfect victory. Not a flawless one. That was far from flawless, actually. But, this was a fun battle. Whoa, Bo is evolving. Hello. Already? I am definitely not complaining. Not one bit. Because now, Bo went from a pretty cool Makahita to a badass Hariyama. Nice. I appreciate this so much. Um, yeah. You know what? Any of these rocks have items? No! Okay, that didn't have an item. Neither does that. Well, now we're back on the... We're on the other side of Route 111, so... Yeah, I think that would be a good time for me to end it. So, yep, we did quite a bit of progress here. We got our next team member, and Bo evolved. So, yep, with that done, I guess I'll end it off here. And next episode, we're gonna continue on and hopefully make it to Full Arbor Town. But for now, I'm gonna end it off. So, see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Emerald. Later!